in the primordial epoch, a symphony of terror and survival reverberated through the expanses of the primordial ocean, a realm shrouded in eternal darkness. This ancient sea, teeming with life, served as a crucible where organisms evolved to adapt and thrive in the most inhospitable of environments. The prehistoric ocean was a testament to the tenacity of life, with creatures developing unique strategies to hunt, survive, and thrive in the shadowy depths. One such creature was the Optalmosaurus, a formidable predator with enormous eyes, adapted for seeing in the utter darkness. These eyes, enlarged to capture as much light as possible, allowed the Optalmosaurus to hunt with remarkable efficiency, stalking its prey in the pitch-black depths. The Optalmosaurus's diet primarily consisted of other deep-sea creatures that lived in the darkness, such as the smaller, less fortunate predators that had not evolved such extraordinary eyesight. For instance, the abyssal shark, a creature with a relatively small body and a single dorsal fin, was a common prey of the Optalmosaurus. The abyssal shark, despite its ability to navigate the dark abyss, was no match for the Optalmosaurus's superior eyesight. Another fearsome predator was the viprefish, a creature with an intimidating appearance. Its body was sleek and streamlined, while its dorsal fins were sharp and deadly. The most striking feature of the viprefish, however, were its fangs. These were not ordinary fangs, but powerful, sharp teeth that could ram into prey with incredible force. The viprefish would strike its prey with such force that it would often stun or kill it instantly. This made the viprefish one of the most feared predators in the prehistoric ocean. For example, the luminescent lanternfish, with its bioluminescent organs that it used to attract prey, was a common victim of the viprefish's brutal attacks. The goblin shark was yet another creature that thrived in the depths of the prehistoric ocean. This shark was named for its goblin-like appearance, with a long, slender body and a large, gaping mouth filled with sharp teeth. The most unique feature of the goblin shark, however, was its extendable jaw. The goblin shark could extend its lower jaw to an incredible length, allowing it to capture prey that other sharks could not reach. This extraordinary adaptation gave the goblin shark a significant advantage in the predatory game. For instance, the deep-sea anglerfish, with its glowing lure and bioluminescent organs, was often within the goblin shark's reach due to its smaller size. Not all creatures in the prehistoric ocean relied on brute force for survival. The Calisianth, for example, found hiding in caves a better strategy for survival. This creature had a small, unassuming body, but was remarkable for its ability to blend in with the surrounding environment. The Calisianth could change colour and texture to match the walls of its cave, making it virtually invisible to predators. This allowed it to live a relatively safe life, hidden away from the dangers of the open ocean. For example, the Podophthalmos, a blind, cave-dwelling fish, was a common inhabitant of the Colisseanth's cave, living in harmony with the camouflaged creature. The anglerfish was another creature that had adapted to life in the dark abyss. This creature was remarkable for its glowing lure, which it used to tempt prey into its mouth. The lure was attached to a bioluminescent organ on the anglerfish's head, and the fish could move it around to attract prey. Once a prey fish was lured close enough, the anglerfish would strike with its sharp teeth and swallow it whole. The anglerfish's life cycle was also remarkable. Female anglerfish were larger and more aggressive, while male anglerfish were much smaller and parasitic. The males would attach themselves to the underside of a female, living off her body for the rest of their lives. This bizarre reproductive strategy allowed the male anglerfish to conserve energy, as they didn't need to hunt for food. The prehistoric ocean was a world of darkness, danger, and survival. Creatures evolved to adapt to this harsh environment, 
developing unique strategies for hunting, survival, and reproduction. From the ophthalmosaurus with its enormous eyes, to the goblin shark with its extendable jaw, these creatures were the apex predators of their time, ruling the depths of the ocean with fear and awe. The prehistoric ocean was a testament to the tenacity of life, a world where creatures had to adapt or die, and where the strongest and most adaptable creatures thrived. The prehistoric ocean, with its myriad of creatures, was a testament to the diversity and adaptability of life, a world where the laws of survival were written in the depths of the dark abyss. However, the prehistoric ocean was not just a world of terror and survival. It was also a world of wonder and beauty. Bioluminescent organisms lit up the ocean floor, creating a mesmerizing display that could be seen from miles away. These organisms used their lights to communicate, attract prey, or warn off predators. The prehistoric ocean was also home to some of the first multicellular organisms, such as sponges and jellyfish, which played crucial roles in the ecosystem. The prehistoric ocean was also a world of extremes. The temperature and pressure in the deep sea were incredibly high, while the surface was incredibly cold. This caused the water to become denser as it got deeper, creating a stratification that prevented nutrients from mixing with the surface water. This made it difficult for organisms to survive in the deep sea, as they had to rely on whatever nutrients they could find near the surface. However, this also created a unique environment where organisms could evolve to survive in extreme conditions. The prehistoric ocean was also a world of constant change. The Earth's plates were shifting, causing the ocean floor to rise and fall, and creating new continent, S and oceans. This resulted in the extinction of many species and the evolution of new ones. The prehistoric ocean was also affected by changes in the Earth's atmosphere, such as the increase in carbon dioxide levels, which caused the ocean to become more acidic. This had a significant impact on the organisms that lived in the ocean, as many of them had shells made of calcium carbonate, which dissolved in acidic water. Despite the challenges facing the prehistoric ocean, life continued to thrive. The ocean was a dynamic and ever-changing ecosystem where organisms had to adapt to survive. The prehistoric ocean was a world of terror and wonder, a world where the laws of survival were written in the depths of the dark abyss. It was a world that would eventually give rise to the oceans we know today, teeming with life and beauty. The prehistoric ocean was a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life, a world where the strongest and most adaptable creatures thrived, and where the laws of survival were written in the depths of the dark abyss. In addition to the creatures mentioned, there were numerous other species that thrived in the prehistoric ocean. For instance, the megalodon, a giant shark that could grow up to sixty feet long, was a dominant predator in the ocean. The megalodon had a powerful bite and could swallow large prey whole. Another example is the pterodactylus, a flying reptile that could grow up to 30 feet in wingspan. The pterodactylus fed on fish and other marine life, and its sharp teeth and powerful jaws made it a formidable predator. The prehistoric ocean was also home to various types of coral, these organisms played a crucial role in the ecosystem by providing shelter and food for other marine life. Corals were also instrumental in creating the diverse and beautiful underwater landscapes that are still present in today's oceans. For example, the Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef system, is a testament to the beauty and diversity of life that can be found in the ocean. The prehistoric ocean was also home to various types of squid and octopus. These cephalopods were known for their intelligence and their ability to change colour and texture to blend in with their surroundings. Some species of squid and octopus were also known for their ability to squirt ink to distract predators or to escape. 
the prehistoric ocean was a complex and diverse ecosystem where different species had to compete for resources and survival. This competition led to the evolution of various strategies for hunting, survival, and reproduction. For instance, the Tyrannosaurus rex, a land-dwelling predator, had evolved to have sharp teeth and powerful jaws for tearing flesh. The T-Rex also had a keen sense of smell and could detect the scent of prey from miles away. In conclusion, the prehistoric ocean was a world of wonder and terror, a world where creatures had to adapt or die, and where the strongest and most adaptable creatures thrived. The prehistoric ocean was a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life, a world where the laws of survival were written in the depths of the dark abyss. The prehistoric ocean was a world of constant change, where the Earth's plates were shifting and the atmosphere was changing, creating a dynamic and ever-changing ecosystem. The prehistoric ocean was a world that would eventually give rise to the oceans we know today, teeming with life and beauty. The prehistoric ocean was a testament to the diversity and adaptability of life, a world where the strongest and most adaptable creatures thrived, and where the laws of survival were written in the depths of the dark abyss.